Hi everybody, here's Christian, and this is Teamwork Cast. It's Shepard, and I can confirm it is Teamwork Cast. <laughs> I'm a black butterfly. I'm gonna bite you! No, no! Oh, oh no! You know, I bet, oh, I bet no! a black butterfly would have, like, <laughs> teeth or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Or the black butterfly from the black, from the, uh, black mirror. Oh gosh, no, please. No, that, there's, there's so, there's, that, that combines two very scary no, things. Uh, no spoilers, please. Thanks. There's one thing, there's one thing I learned as a kid, and that is never look, especially if you're a child, never look at like magnified insects. Why? Yeah. Because they're just they're terrifying monsters. What, are, what do you see? It, you will see too much. You will see see you will, things you will not be able, be able to unsee. But the, uh, now nature's cruel, isn't it? It, it is. Yes. It is crazy. But now we're going to see something completely different. You, uh, our dear listeners, you're going to see us going on an accounting quest. Yep, ancestral step accounting. Uh, it's from the guild manager, a young hunter. Your hands seem idle. Would you care to busy yourself collecting points for me in the ancestral step? Any items are fine as long as you meet the quota. Take care now. One of those quests again, but the last accounting quest went pretty well, I would say. It, I yeah. enjoyed it. It was one of the best. And um, so, because we don't have any exciting things to uh, for, oh, I'm, I'm starting in the in the secret area. That, nice. That, that sounds pretty exciting to me. Um, but generally, we, there's it's not again especially an exciting quest. So I have, I have something I want to discuss, guys. Okay. Yep. I'm ready. Star Wars. Oh, I saw it. You saw it. I haven't seen it. I saw it last night. Yeah. All right. So, so um, spoiler-free um, review, I would say, is is, is okay. something that we have to do. And if okay. you really don't like, don't want it to get spoiled, now is your, t your time to, to maybe fast forward like 15. Yeah. Minutes. This is the only. This is the only. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, let's be honest. We all know how it ends. It, yeah, it's kind of like the movie, well, the, is, the Star Wars movie that is the least to spoiler hope, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, not definitely not as good as the last one, of course. You didn't. You uh, liked seven more. Well, this movie again, and even though it's you know we're, we warn people spoilers, we don't have to get into main spoilers. But just as a movie, it felt like it was made by like a committee, mm. and like. There were certain people on the team that like said, "Well, you can have that in the movie if I can have this in the movie." Hmm. You know, it it didn't have the same sort of pace that the previous movie did. Hmm. You know, there was a lot going on in that they there were a ton of locations that sh were shown throughout the movie. Yes. In fact, yes. I wanted to go in and like measure the time to cut, you know, like how many cuts are there every minute between one scene or one shot from the next? Mm. And I swear, in the first half of the movie, every ten seconds there was a camera cut. Yeah, it you was never had, crazy. It was never. There was never any establishing shots on like anything. Yeah, I mean, Except I think maybe, maybe the, the, the planet where minutes. the home planet, like the very first shot, literally yeah. is is, uh, is a little bit. There you go. Yes, that that is yeah. the only one you get that is longer than ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that you know. Uh, you know, as as a critical, uh, you know, person of of movies, in that you know, I, I can watch a dumb movie that's not great and and love it. But if I'm, I could also watch it from a critical lens and say, like, gee, like, Disney man, what are you doing? Like, yeah, this is yeah. this is your goose. And like, I, I know most people out there won't care, but like, you know, it's not prequel trilogy bad, but it's not really, I don't know, it's not up to the same standard that they just came out with literally one year ago so i get what you mean and i especially think the beginning is is rough yeah the the i mean you know if if somebody wanted to make the argument that the second half of the movie makes up for the first like that's cool you yeah. can do that i'll let i'll let you do that if you want i i'm uh, gonna but, make but that argument that, Okay. I, that, that's a kind of argument. I it's there, there's still some things that don't quite work because simply there is the setup is not there. But I think it was like like in terms of space battles, that was easily one of the best Star Wars space battles that I've seen. Um, yeah, there were some there were some neat neat maneuvers. I would say yes, some um, exciting stuff happening. That is not just shooting. Right. Yes. Yes, and. Um... 
that you know if that's something that you're big into. I mean, look, if you're a fan of Star Wars, you're gonna watch you the movie go, anyways. You would go you're there gonna, anyway. You're, yeah. you're gonna watch it no matter what we say. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't want the the criticism to say that you know it's a bad movie. I wouldn't no. say it's a bad movie. There's many many no. worse movies. Any virtually every. DC movie that has been made in like the last <laughs> oh no five years that was not animated has been oh, horrible and so the animated I, have been problematic as well. Um, haven't watched the animated ones. I just assumed that they it, were good. It, the the animated ones are so hit and miss. Like sometimes you'll get a really good one, and then the next like one is completely wretched. It's just like why? <laughs> There's been some good ones, but yeah, I just. Eh. Um, so can, can I, can we talk a little bit about digitally rendered characters at all? Uh, no, I think this, this accounts, uh, accounts as a spoiler. It, I think that was also one of the things that I felt was hit and miss. Like the friends that were with me on this, in the cinema, they were like, yes, it was awesome. I couldn't even tell. And I was like, I, I could okay. tell at every step okay. of the way. Well, um, you know, we'll just tell everybody that, you know, maybe listening to them, there, there are no CGI rendered characters in this movie. And, um... <laughs> I promise That's you won't one. see them. Um, but are, uh, there's... There like, okay. Well, I, I, I think everyone who's been following it knows that there are some, because, I mean, the number of the people who have been revealed to be in the movie, if they paid attention to, like, leaks and stuff, you know, that yeah. people just can't no, do we those don't, roles. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, the, the fun part was know what, who, I, brought, I brought a friend last night, hmm. and um, he, he was really confused for half the movie because he thought this was just the sequel to last year's movie he like didn't know (laughs) what the time frame of it was oh yeah yeah we had that as well yeah you know he's like he's like digging it you know he's like watching he's digging it he's like she's like i don't really where where are all the people that i i saw like where's where's flynn and all those people i'm really (laughs) kind of wishing they were here um, something I really appreciate about the movie as well, I, I mean, and generally I understand your criticism as well and I share it, but something that I, I, I felt, I w- I walked away with, with like, oh yeah, that, that was really great, was how, how it infused the New Hope with so much more context and meaning. Yeah, like, I mean... I, I well, felt I mean, the handoff need... between this movie and the New Hope was so really well done. So if you were watching it for that, then the movie was a runaway success. Yeah. Right? If you were watching it, kind of like if you were to look at that supplementary material for Final Fantasy XV and take it on its own and be like, wow, mm. that really helped fill out the experience that's Final Fantasy XV. Yeah. I'd, I'd say, yeah, absolutely. The, the movie yeah. was a runaway success in terms of, you know, really giving a new hope context. And But, like, it, it, is, it is violent. It is dark. Yep. Like... Mm-hmm. Multiple times, I turned to my friend and said, "This is a children's movie. This is a movie for children. Yeah, children are here. I, I'm looking at a child now, watching this as this man is horribly murdered. You know, yeah, not like not tortured, uh, but you know, there's there's very unequivocal death in in well, ways the, that like you know, Star Wars <laughs> and New Hope. People died in that, but it wasn't like." horrifying it would always pretty much cut off right before the person died or like you know yeah it was like like, 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 star wars Wars started showing like the horrible death starting with uh the prequels though like let's be honest like a kid's movie where someone is cut in half and you see it's part you know Mm. two ends flying down a shaft together (laughs) you know yeah you're right um (laughs) you're right you know but he was like a demon he wasn't like a person he was, I, neat, he was a really he's bad as much guy. the person as Jar Jar Binks was. Well, Jar Jar Binks did not get cut in half. But we'll, I mean, we don't have to get into sadly, that. sadly, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would have given it an E for everyone rating. What is the canon ending for Jar Jar Binks? What is what is his I- in universe lore of? They never what? really. They well, never if really anyone go knew, it, it would be Christian. I think Christian would know. Well, you know, if things continue like this, we are bound to have, at some point, a Jar Jar Binks dedicated movie. I, I mean, they'll just have to. You know, <laughs> one a year. Yeah. Run Eventually, out of they will go there. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, because we have to finish this up. So maybe we're going to continue a Star Wars talk in the next episode. 
Uh, if we have another gathering quest, we'll just do that one again. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but something I wanted to... I, I do agree with you, um, and that's, that's perhaps the mov movie's biggest criticism. Like After I saw Rogue One, I really appreciated the kind of warmth that you got from Episode 7. Like, the warmth of the characters. Yeah, that you oh, really liked was the characters. I mean, they, they didn't always get along, but they always yeah. had a very clear personality in how they wanted to interact. Like, there's and a guy in this movie, like... I think he had a name, but all he ever said is, I am the pilot. Yeah. Who is that guy? I There's there's a lot of people that we walked away from the movie and we tried, like, in discussion afterwards, trying to remember the names. And we haven't even remembered the name of the main character. Um, so something I really appreciate afterwards now is, like, for example, in episode 7, the scene where, um, where Finn uh, and Poe Dameron, like, bro, bro up. Yeah, they brought. I mean, it's that not a is long so scene. amazing. That is such an it's, amazing scene because it's so short, and in the time like span of just a couple a of minute. minutes, you love those characters. M maybe a minute is all it took. Yeah, and that kind of scene is something that was de dearly missing in in uh, in Rogue One. Like something that would mean really like fall in love with those characters. There are some really great characters in there that just never did we get the chance to, for the audience to to really to, to for the audience to really learn them and, and make them appreciate them. Yeah, it made it made connecting to the movie and you know really empathizing a, a little bit more difficult. Uh, but still, something a movie I would definitely recommend uh, watching, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. It's like no brainer. You surely should watch. And it's not bad in the sense that it's not a failure. It's just I think a little bit of a, um, there is some things that we we uh, we that is worth discussing about the movie. Yeah, well, they just they had to crack it out pretty quick. Right, yeah. we finish episode seven. You know, well, it uh, doesn't feel like a rushed job, though. I don't it know. Feels like a, it feels like it was made by a committee, but that's it, just it does opinion. feels like it was like uh, edited and reinvented a lot of times. Yeah, Anyways, but, I mean, guys, we're going to move on to the next okay. episode, and uh, we're going to maybe talk a little bit more about uh, Star Wars. Let's see about that. See you next time around. Good luck and good hunt. Many both both ends died. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Meow the force <laughs> be with you. You know, where's Meow. our Monster Hunter Star Wars crossover? I want a lightsaber. <laughs> oh man, lightsaber, that would be great. Poop like you've got speed setup. Brought to you by Squatty Potty. <laughs>